Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax. And in the previous video, I explained about the let expression or let operator or let keyword. And we covered the important points related to the let keyword or let expression or let operator. Now, in this video, we will go for the practical for the same. Firstly, I will show you, yes, if we are not using let operator, then I will explain the same to same thing by using the let operator. So, we will take a requirement. I will show you the already developed program and we will go for same to same program. Suppose I am running this program. Now, whatever the input we will give based upon that input, we will display the number of records. Suppose if I am giving the input 10, so we will be able to display the 10 records. If I am giving the input 15, we will be able to display the 15 records. Suppose I am giving the input suppose 2. So we will display the 2 records. I will execute. And you can see we are able to see the 2 records. And the records which we are displaying has 2 columns. Now suppose if the value of first column is 1, the value of next column will be automatically plus 10. This means the value of second column will be 11. Suppose if the value of first column in the second row is 2, then the value of second column will be automatically 12. So just what we will develop, we will pass the input as number of records. Suppose if I will give 10, so we will be able to see the 10 records. And we have two columns in that, okay? The value of first column will be, suppose if one, the value of next column will be plus 10. If the value of first column in the second row is two, then the value of second column will be automatically 12. The conclusion is the value of second column is plus 10 of the first column. So I will develop this particular program Firstly, I will show you without let expression, then we will simply use the let expression. Firstly, I will show you without let expression, then with the help of let expression. So I will go to SC38 transaction code and I will create a program. Suppose I am saying ZPRG new syntax. Suppose I will write underscore let. I will go for create. It is already there. So I will give some different name. Okay. I'll just write demo. ZPRG demo new syntax underscore let. I will go for create. Demo on let keyword. Or you can write let operator or let expression. It is totally your wish. I will take it as executable program and I will go for save. I will save this program as a local object. I will take a input into this particular program. Suppose I will go for parameters as I am taking a single input. Suppose I will write P underscore input. Suppose I am taking numeric. Suppose the length is 2. So that we will be able to display up to 99 records. The length is 2, so we can put maximum up to 99. I will provide the selection text. Go to text elements, selection text. I will just pass, suppose, number of records. So that title, this text also make a relevance. 
if I will run this particular program, the number input is ready. Now I will declare a structure. Types. Structure has two columns. Suppose I will write begin of LTY underscore data. Suppose I will write call one means column one type. Suppose column one is of numeric type. It has a length of suppose I will say two suppose. I will take another column. Suppose column two, suppose length is three, type n. So I took two columns. End of structure. I am ending this structure. I will declare work area. Data, LWA underscore data type, LTY underscore data. Now, now we will go for writing the logic. I have not declared the internal table because as we will go for one by one, so I have not declared the internal table. So now I will go for do. Now I will do tab, do and do. So whatever the input you are passing based upon that, our do loop will continue. Whatever the input you will pass based upon our do loop will continue. Suppose if I will give 10, so this do loop will continue 10 times. Now we will go for new syntax as we already know value expression or value keyword or value operator. So we will use that itself. Now, what is the name of your work area? LWA data. Now I will use value keyword. And I am going for hash. You all know it is fully, fully explained. I am going for hash because I already declared this work area through explicit declaration. So system will automatically recognize if you do not want to go for hash, you need to use structure type here. It means you need to use LTY data here and you can declare this work area. I will show you that part also. But anyways, it is fully, fully explained in the previous videos. So I am going for hash. Now, firstly, I will not go for let. Okay. Now we want to go for the values of these two columns. What is the value of first column? Suppose I am saying call one is equal to. Now it is fully, fully explained in the ABAP programming part one playlist we have a system variable psi index psi sorry we have a system variable psi index by mistake i opened the calculator we have a system variable psi index in case of do loop in case of do loop this system variable gives the current current record which is going on if you have simple loop, suppose loop at internal table, at that time, you are using side tabix. But whenever you have a do loop, side tabix will not make any significance. It is just a static number. So psi index will give the current record which is going on. Yes, index of the current record. So now I will use this system variable. Many times people will do this mistake. They will simply, simply go for this side tabix and they are saying in do loop, it is not working. You can simply go to a BAP programming part one. We have dedicated videos for system variables. At that time, I fully, fully explained this side index into do. Suppose the value of first column, I'll just make this, I'll just keep it close. Okay. Now, what is the value of first column? I'm writing psi index. And what is the value of second column? Column two is equal to psi index plus x. I will declare this x. Now, what we did, 
we are simply using value operator or value expression or value keyword yes and we assigned the values to two columns column one and column two now i will simply simply write this and we are assigning the result to lwa data so i will write lwa data what is call one and lwa data call two and now i will use slash so that output will be in the next line now i am writing plus x but i have not declared this x if i will check the syntax you can see it is saying field x is unknown so i will declare this x suppose i will go for inline data declaration you can go for explicit data declaration also suppose i am writing data i am writing x you all know we took the requirement the value of second column is plus 10 of the first column suppose just go how it will work i am checking the syntax and now i will activate just see how it will work suppose i am giving two so do loop will continue two times what is psi index so for the first record it will be one one plus ten eleven because we gave the value ten so it will display one eleven now do loop will continue come for second iteration what is psi index two two plus ten 12 this is what we want to display 1 11 2 12 now in this case we are going for displaying the output now i will show you the result i am running this particular program suppose i am giving the input 2 and you can see we got 1 11 and 2 12 now if you are not comfortable in using hash, you can simply simply use the structure type also. As we are going for one by one record, so we will simply use the structure type. There is no need for table type. Suppose I can write this by this also. Suppose I am commenting this. Suppose rather than hash, I am going for structure type. Whenever you are going for structure type, you can only only go for single record. It is fully fully explained when I cover the value operator or value expression or value keyword. Now here you can go for inline data declaration. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. System should understand in either of the way. If you are using hash then you have to go for explicit data declaration. System should understand. If you are going for inline data declaration, then you need to pass a structure type or table type. In this case, we are going for structure type as we are going for single, single record. Now I can comment this part also. So it is totally your wish how you want to go. And we got the accepted result. But have you seen in this full, I have not used the let expression or let keyword or let operator. Just see, I am using x into this value expression, but I am declaring this variable inline or explicit. That's a different thing. I am declaring. So now what we will do rather than going for declaration here, in this particular expression itself, we can go for let expression. We can declare these particular variables. Just see how useful it is. Your code is very neat and clean. There is no need for unnecessary declaration there. Whenever you are using in a expression, you can declare those variables or field symbols. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with the practical demo of let expression. We took one requirement. What is the requirement? That we will give the input from the screen. Input is all about number of records. If you will give the input 10, it will display 10 records. If you will give the input 20, it will display 20 records. So we put a do loop. We declared a structure. We declare a structure type, we declare a work area. 
Now we used the value expression. It is totally your wish. You want to go for hash. If you are going for hash, declare the work area explicitly. If you do not want to go for hash, you can go for this particular structure type here and you can go for inline data declaration. But I did, you all know in do loop, psi index is a system variable which give us the current index, current index of the record. So I used that value of first column is psi index, value of second column is psi index plus x. Now x is 10. So I declare this variable. I used inline data declaration. That is a different thing. Now, after that, we displayed the output. Now, rather than declaring this variable outside this expression, we can declare in the expression itself. That is our main, main benefit of let expression or let keyword. In the next video, I will simply, simply use this particular declaration. I will declare this variable using let operator or let keyword. So that's it in this video. Thank you.